Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanna teach you a concept that has really helped me out in life in general. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like two words that really define everything I do every single day, what I focus on, where I put my energy, and it's gonna help you both in business and in your personal life. It's just like, I know I speak a lot about marketing and Facebook ads and e-commerce and all this stuff, but really this is the concept that allows me to improve my life as a whole, right? It's a little bit different, but I'm gonna do my best to explain how it works. And this process is called, this concept is called life optimization. And basically life optimization, well, if we take a look at this word individually, optimization, I kind of like relate it to, to advertising, right? Uh, to advertising because in advertising you have to optimize your ads and optimization basically means like using the resources that you have as smart as possible to produce the biggest results so with the resources that you currently have without adding more use them efficiently so that you can produce the biggest results so kind of like in advertising you have your ads right and when you optimize your ads you want to spend the same amount of money like in this specific uh, case you want to sp spend a specific amount of money and increase your results so let's say that you're spending a hundred dollars a day and you want to optimize your ads so that instead of producing 200 dollars a day with those 100 you're producing 300 right so in that scenario, you're spending a hundred dollars a day, you're making 200. If you optimize your ads, you could perfectly spend the same amount, a hundred and make 300. That's optimization, it's the process of optimizing your ads. But I also see, I also apply this concept kind of like with my life, because if you think about it, in ads, when you, when you have ads um, and you have a specific budget that you have, let's say a hundred dollars, and that's kind of like your limited resource, because let's say at this point you only have $100, you wanna optimize your ads as, as best as you can so that you can get the best results as possible. In life, I see, I always relate it with, kind of like with life, because in life, the truth is you have a limited amount of resources as well. You have limited, limited amounts of energy, you have limited amounts of focus, you have limited amounts, a limited amount of time, so you have, you have limited resources, time, energy, focus, and you also have a limited amount of, of money, right? Unless you're like really, really balling and you can just spend whatever you want. But the truth is that regular people, most people have a limi limited amount of uh, resources, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna use those resources as efficiently as you can to get the biggest results in life. So kind of like the way I do this is by dividing my life in three different aspects that are just as like equally important in my opinion. So I divide like the first aspect of my life is whatever happens internally, right? And this is kind of like what happens inside my body, inside my thoughts. This is kind of like your spiritual being right? What happens internally? This is your spiritual being, your consciousness, um, your self-analysis. Like, I don't know if, if it, it happens to you or if you do this, but many times I just analyze myself without writing it down, without speaking to other people. This is just sitting down, closing your eyes and analyzing yourself, right? That's kind of like what happens internally. This is your spiritual being. It's kind of like what humans still don't understand because most, most human, like humans, human beings as a whole want to understand how everything works, right? But humans can't really understand like what, how your consciousness works, your spiritual being. They're just things that the, the, human, the human beings don't understand. Like, why are we here? Like who created us, right? So those kind of things are the things that we look, we look for answers internally. So this is what happens inside yourself. But I'm not talking inside yourself, kind of like your organs and stuff. I'm talking about like your spiritual being. So the second thing, and this is, this is thing number one, the second aspect of my life is what happens on a physical, on a physical level. And I know, no, I know this is a bit different compared to the content that I put out, but this is really what, what really gets me up in the morning. So 
this is the, the physical aspect of your life. So this involves, uh, actually, let, let's write this, this down. So let's put spirituality, whatever religion you believe in, spirituality, um, consciousness. I don't know how to write that. I think it's like this. Um, Self-analysis. And, and like kind of like figuring out what's the higher being for you. The higher being for you could be, you can name it Jesus, you can name it God, you can name it Allah, whatever it is. This is what happens internally. The physical is, this is the body, right? How you feel with your body. I think this is just as important because you can be super strong spiritually and internally, but if, but your body is kind of like the vehicle that allows you to go from place to place. It's the vehicle that basically stores everything. It is like your temple. So when your body is not in the right conditions, you don't operate the right way. Because even if you're okay internally, if you can't translate that into physical action, it's going to be hard to produce things like in reality, in this thing that we call reality, right? So you have to be, you have to be optimized internally, but you also have to be optimized physically. In my opinion, this is just how I see life, right? This is how I want to live all my life, like optimized in all these concepts, in all these aspects. So the body, you know, this can be um, strength, strength, energy, lifting weights, being in shape, um, you know, just feeling well with yourself. And this doesn't have to be like a freaking bodybuilding body, you know, this, you don't have to be like a bodybuilder. My point is optimize yourself physically because the truth is that we all have 24 hours in a day. You got to optimize your life in a way that you can use that, those limited uh, resources, that limited amount of time to produce the biggest physical results as you can and to produce the best, you know, the, the most fulfilling spiritual aspects of your life and know yourself. Now, the third aspect is what happens kind of like externally, right? This is how you interact with society, how you interact with the world. So let's say you have your spiritual being on point. You're working on optimizing that and you're also working on optimizing your physical body that is really your vehicle or your temple to translate all your internal, your, your internal aspects or your spiritual being into, into reality, what we call society or the world or, the, or this physical place, physical reality. And then... Externally, the, the, the external aspect is really how you interact with the world, right? How good your relationships are, how you do business, if you have a successful business, if you have money in your bank account, if you go to parties or if you go to the movies or if you are a nice person or a more quiet person or if you go to Starbucks to drink a coffee. This is everything, all your interaction with the world, with society. And this interaction might have business related stuff it might have kind of like love it might have uh, events this is how you interact with the world in externally so kind of like the concept of life optimization and i don't even know if someone else called it life optimization i just recorded this video because this this is how i i thought about optimization because of the ads right so how can you optimize your life so you can live a more fulfilling life a happier life and I just broke it down into three, three aspects. Because if you think about it, when you are well internally, this translates both to your physical body. When you're well internally and you're happy with yourself and, and you feel fulfilled internally, it just gives you more energy and it gives you, it, want, it allows you to want this more, right? Improve your body, to feel well with yourself. But this also, when you're well internally, it, it also reflects on your external life, kind of like how you relate with other people, how you, how you handle your relationships, how you handle specific events. If someone, you were in the street in traffic and someone tells you F you, right? Then if you're well internally, you will react well externally and you won't go and, and tell F you to the other guy, right? So it reflects over here. Now your physical body, if you're well physically, it also reflects on your external world. So everything of who you are as a human being, right? And, and 
us humans were really just like a, a bunch of atoms together with the consciousness and something that we really don't understand. But when you master this stuff over here, what you are seeing and how you feel, how you understand yourself, you're able to translate that into the physical world and interact better with people, build better businesses, be more successful, have more money, do things you like, right? But the thing is that what I'm, I know a lot of people know me for like marketing and all that stuff, but like, honestly, I feel like that's just like the tip of the iceberg on what I'm learning every single day. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm just kind of like analyzing every single human being I can that's around my life and figuring out how could they optimize their life, right? They could improve their body. They could be happier, more, more fulfilling. They could improve their spiritual being. They could kind of like follow their passions, like all these things. And I think that these three things are key. So what are some practical things that you could do to, under, to, do, to improve yourself, yourself internally? Self-development, reading books, following mentors, my, uh, watching, listening to podcasts every morning. Meditation is a huge one over here. Meditation, not because when you hear a podcast, you're also influenced from an external source, right? When you hear a podcast, you're listening to information that's from someone else. It's, it's an external source and it, would, it could be great information, but really the, the true intelligence comes from knowing yourself internally and you giving yourself the answers, right? Then physical, gym, yoga, karate, mountain biking. I'm just giving examples of myself, but could be any physical activity that, that allows you to improve your physical body, your physical well-being. And externally, you will naturally improve your external area of your life when you improve your internal area and your physical area. But truth is that if you want to really optimize your life, you got to kind of like work on everything because if you're just physic, you're just work on your physical self, right? You know, you have a great body, you feel super energetic, but you're a piece of shit. And literally you, you're like, you go and tell F you to everyone. Then obviously, this is, this is wrong, right? You're not really fulfilling this area of your life. You're not optimizing this area. Kind of like this is what allows you to reach the physical fulfillment and external fulfillment, right? When you're internally fulfilled and you, when you figure out kind of like what makes you happy, what makes you fulfilled. <clears throat> so uh, we don't remember, honestly, this is, this is not like Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty that, you know, when you die, you just respawn and you have like five lives. You just have one life. So you want to make the most out of it. You want to optimize it to as much as you can, because in this limited amount of time that we have a limited resource, you can improve your life in so many ways, but you got to have a desire. You got to have a vision and you want to, you got to be looking forward to immerse yourself into each topic, because when you immerse yourself into each topic, you feel super fulfilled. Like right now, recording this video, I feel super fulfilled. I feel good internally. I feel good physically. I went to the gym. I've been going to the gym every single day, five times a week. In the mornings, I meditate and I also feel like this stuff is helping me externally, like this external, like the fact that I'm recording this video, is an external reflection of how I'm feeling and what I want to achieve in life, right? I feel well, I feel my external kind of like concept or area is improving as I improve my internal and physical areas, right? <clears throat> so I know this is kind of like, I don't know, for me, it's a bit strange when I started like really realizing this, but I don't know, maybe some of you guys will find it helpful it's all about just living a more fulfilled life. Honestly, like some people are just looking to make money, more, make money, make money, but they're miserable as hell. And they don't, they don't want to aim uh, for anything else just than money, right? Money is important, but I think in the end of the day, <clears throat> it's not only about money. It's about living a balanced life and being fulfilled in every area of your life. So guys, this is Life Optimization. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope if you did, just share it with a friend. Let me know in the comments below, wherever this is posted. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. If you think I'm a bit crazy, go tell me crazy. I like being crazy, <coughs> being crazy. But that's it. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you soon.